Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to another episode. It is 8.25 here in Chile. So last night, I stayed at this hostel uh, right next to the beach. It's pretty nice. As you can see, they got a balcony here and a rooftop bar. Um, and uh, apparently, there's a, a club right next door. So they were bumping music really hard until like 3 or 4 a.m. last night. So I had a hard time falling asleep. The but that was a uh, that was okay. Um, so the plan for today is to go to Bolivia, um, since I can't go directly to Peru now. My only option left is to go to Bolivia from Arica because it's it's right on the border between Peru and Bolivia. So yeah, and uh, I think uh, what I read online is this border crossing is also going to be difficult since it's not a standard procedure for foreigners to take any Chilean vehicle out of the country so I think I'll, I'll have to do a lot of talking explanation again you know and also I think I need to acquire some kind of special document here in Arica before I go to that border um, I need to go to the Bolivian aduana here first and to get a, a special permit before I can go to that border so um, yeah let me uh, let me just show you where exactly I'm going today on the map Wow, I came a long way. Uh, I'm all the way up in the north of Chile, right here, Arica, near the border. That's Peru, that's Bolivia. So it's right at the border between Peru and Chile, right? And uh, Bolivia is just two hours from the city. And today, uh, before I go to Bolivia, I need to uh, go to the uh, Bolivian uh, aduana to acquire some kind of special permit and then I will start heading east towards Bolivia and uh, after the border crossing I am planning on going to La Paz which is the capital of Bolivia so that's the plan for today I think the total riding time is probably gonna be around seven hours seven and a half maybe um, and uh, I'm not sure about the road conditions, but you know, uh, on the Chilean side, I think it's all going to be paved. But I'm not sure about you know the road conditions in Bolivia. But we'll see when we get there. All right, fingers crossed I can make it to Bolivia today. All right, let's go. All right, this is probably uh, one of the nicest hostels I've ever stayed. Their Wi-Fi was so fast last night. I tried to upload a video. And it was uploaded in an instant. And there were like 15 to 20 people staying here. So that was pretty impressive. Whew. Now off I go. Don't you love this empty street? <laughs> this is a Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. I just want to make a quick video right here uh, since I am climbing up the mountain and about to go into the Altiplano 
Um, this is the, uh, the, the second largest uh, plateau right after Tibet. And I think the average elevation here is going to be 4,000 meters. So it's definitely going to be a challenge for me. And I'm already starting feel, uh, to feel a little cold uh, as I am climbing up. So I'm about to layer up. And this morning I left without having my mid layer uh, because it was kind of hot, you know, by the coast. And now it's all mountain, hills. So, all right, let's go. Yeah? All right. I don't know why he stopped me with the knife, the guy in front of me. Officially in the Altiplano now. Just check the elevation. It's 4,500 meters. And uh, so far, I'm doing fine. Not, uh, you know, didn't didn't really have too much uh, reaction right now. But I'm sure it'll come eventually. And yeah, it only takes like a day <clears throat> for that to come. But there's no going back down now. It's all going to be 4,000 uh, meter high. So, But I'm so glad I saw the, uh, the snowy mountains in the back. You probably can't see it in the, uh, in the camera right here. Oh, man, I miss the, the high elevation mountains. I feel like home. All right. Things still got... 50 kilometers to the border and I just hope everything goes smoothly and I can go into Bolivia because I don't want to I don't want to ride back to uh, Arica anymore all right let's go Hola. Su licencia. Uh, Bolivia. Sí. Su licencia. Uh, no habla español. Sorry. No habla español. <laughs> All right. He checked my bike document, my passport. It was fine, so he let me go. Uh, adios. Look at this llama. Look at this llama crossing the streets.
All right, I just got out of the uh, immigration office. Spent about two hours here, and finally I am able to go. Uh, the process was pretty straightforward. So basically they gave you like a slip of paper. It says one, two, three, four, five, six. And there were six windows. So basically you just have to go, eat, uh, go up to each one of the windows, fill out different forms, you know, and then get a stamp from each one of the windows. So in the end, you're supposed to have six to exit Chile and enter Bolivia. And yeah, uh, and now I am free to go. Um, but I think I, I should have I should have been more prepared uh, since I, I knew you know U.S. citizens need to get the visa here at the border, and uh, I should have had all the documents. You know they they needed my photos, they needed my bank bank statement, my itinerary, where I'm gonna stay tonight, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. All these uh, documents needed to be printed and uh, for them to issue uh, the the visa for you. But these guys were super nice. They were cooperative. You know, I came here without any preparation. So they helped me, you know, prepare uh, like a folder uh, that included all the documents. And uh, of course, they, you know, they charge for a small fee. But, you know, it, it is what it is. I am just happy. They gave me the visa, a multi-entry visa for 10 years. And it's valid, you know, every year. They told me every year I can come here for and stay for up to 60 uh, 90 days every year and it's valid for 10 years so not bad but i don't know i don't know if <laughs> when's the next time i'm gonna come back to bolivia but anyways all right and uh, it was just storming just now i heard the uh, the thunder and it was kind of yeah it was a bad time to come to uh the altiplano here is 4,500 meters so and uh, I start feeling a little high, lightheaded, and I was short of breath. You know, going from one window to another, or going from one building to another building. You know, so all these walking that made me kind of tired, and I felt a little lightheaded. Not gonna lie. All right, gotta go. All right, I gave her the six stamps. Now I'm good to go. Oh, got a charge real quick. Uh. Gotta put some gas in first. fingers are literally freezing and hey, look look hold on ready <laughs> oh i'm soaked oh god damn i feel so gross now oh I'm so cold. My fingers, I can't feel my fingers anymore. Alright, enough complaining. I gotta go.
guys. I'm in La Paz, Bolivia. And last night I got here pretty late. I think it was around 9.30. And I thought I was gonna make an update right after I got here, you know, because I always wanted to uh, provide like a real life, uh, real time update so that, you know, all the emotions are still there and, you know, but I literally couldn't talk because I was having a major headache due to the uh, elevation. Um, so, but, you know, after I got to my hotel, um, and then I went downstairs to the pharmacy and then got some pills. Um, so yeah, now I feel much better and I am totally functional right now. So yesterday, um, I went from Arica in Chile and rode all the way to La Paz, Bolivia. Border crossing was not too bad. And like I said, you know, there were uh, six stamps that you need to collect. It's like collect Dragon Ball and then, you know, your wish come true. But yeah, uh, the whole process was pretty straightforward. Uh, the guys were there, uh, they were pretty helpful, you know, and some English. Some people were speaking English, so that was uh, a big help. But uh, after I exit Chile, I enter Bolivia, it started raining. And it was super cold because it was at uh, uh, 4,500 meters altitude. And uh, it was pouring. My whole, everything, everything, luggage, body, everything got soaked. And yeah. Um, but uh, I didn't really mind uh, riding in the rain. I think it's just part of the journey, you know, I chose to come to Bolivia and then it's raining season here, so I gotta take the responsibility for it. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad that I made it to La Paz. And oh God, driving into La Paz was a freaking nightmare. And I mean, here the traffic rules are completely different from anywhere or all the developed countries. You know, in Chile, Argentina, people respect motorcycles, but here in, uh, in Bolivia, the traffic rule seems to be non-existent. Like, the traffic lights are more of a, like a stop signs. Uh, the local buses, taxis, they run over the, 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 the traffic lights all the time. And uh, pedestrians are walking everywhere on the streets. And, you know, the buses, they can stop anywhere on the streets. So even in the, uh, at the uh, intersection, you know, between two rows, they can stop if somebody put their hand out. So you got a, a mixture of people, cars, dogs, a bunch of dogs, like I think it's homeless dogs, just crossing the street uh, anywhere. So yeah, I had to adapt and then eventually I just, you know, gave up and uh, I, you know, do what the locals do here. I also ran through the uh, traffic lights multiple times yesterday and yeah, so. And here, I'm in La Paz, um, staying one extra day. And I think last time I was here was 2015. And wow, um, I just been to the other uh, bus terminal. And the uh, last time I was here, you know, I was backpacking and I took the bus from La Paz to Uni at the bus terminal here. So I went back and saw that building. It was very, uh, very nice. Kind of got sentimental a little bit. But yeah, all right, so today I'm about to go out and explore the city because last time I really didn't really explore uh, the city. I only stopped here for one night and then I uh, took the bus and left. So now, you know, since I got to see the whole city and uh, I really want to ride on those cable cards where you can go from the bottom to the top and see the whole city uh, at the mountain top. So. Um, yeah, that's it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like it. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.